and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip are for those of us who live in the frozen north. For those of you that are itching and got the Jones to go out and do some plain air painting and may have several more months to go before it actually gets warm, um, but you just can't wait. I got some tips for you today. Now granted, plain air painting is one of those for not the faint of heart. You have to be organized, you have to be together, and you have to be patient. And also you have to be kind and okay with being subjected to the elements. But if you just gotta paint outside, you just can't handle it, can't wait a minute longer, I got something that may help you out. One is that you may have some trouble, especially if you're like in a watercolors and stuff, with your wash water getting really, really cold and your watercolors being not activated quite right. Um, so you can, you know, have a little difficulty getting those uh, colors to move around. Fear not. Gotcha. See these little hand warmer things? These are perfect. These are air activated. Um, they are safe and they are natural. And what you can do is you just basically pop these open and set it under your wash water and another one under your palette. And it can make a marked difference in the temperature of all of your material while you're working outside. This also works for acrylic as well. Um, and it is a fantastic way to kind of keep everything flowing the way you want it to go. So check out those little hand warmer things. And then the other tip that I'll give you is, not gonna believe this one. Yeah, a flask. <laughs> not just for you, but for your art materials too. Now this one has some vodka in it. Now, why am I telling you about this? Well, because vodka doesn't freeze exactly. So what you can do is you can, as a watercolorist, sub your wash water for vodka and it won't freeze up. Um, the thing that I will tell you though, is that I would actually advise that you actually just add some vodka to your wash water because it, it provides enough um, alcohol in there to keep it from freezing, but doesn't affect the, um, the performance of your watercolor. I'm a bit of a little bit of like, not that much outdoorsy in the cold. <laughs> like, I really don't dig the cold at all. Um, so I can tell you that like, I don't try this often. I know some that have and have it on good authority. For instance, Edward Wilson on his expedition with Robert Scott to Antarctica used this method for his watercolor painting that he did. Sadly, they died, but the watercolors turned out great and yours can too. For those of you who are interested in doing acrylic outside, the same um, basic method can be used again. I would put just a little bit of vodka in your wash water, not completely sub for it. Um, and then also you can dip your brushes in the vodka to keep the brushes from freezing up uh, and stuff like that. So it works really, really well. Um, but there again, <laughs> don't ever drink your wash water <laughs> ever. Uh, and especially don't drink it after doing this. Uh, but these are wonderful little tools you can use if you are one of those ardent plein air people that want to go outside and, um, you know, take in some vistas and views even when the, the you know, the temperature is not quite there yet. So we hope that this was helpful and hope that you enjoy. Mm -hmm.